Hello, 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 my beautiful people. Um, I was speaking to the Lord this morning and I was just asking God, like, what do you want me to speak about? And what came into my mind was slander. And I thought about it and I said, I know what you want me to speak about. A lot of us, people of God, a lot of us who go after Christ, who believe in God, a lot of people have tried to slander our name any way that they can. They try to slander your name because they feel like, you know, that's going to break you. It's going to take your hope away from you. It's going to humiliate you. It's going to make you change your mind about how you feel about God. The Lord said no. When anybody asks you of your hope, do it. Do it respectfully, with humility. No matter what you've been through, no matter what people knows about you, it does not matter. You know the Lord loves you. You know that you go to God all the time. So whatever someone thinks about you, they're not God. That's where people got it confused at. They think that their say goes. God says, whatever the Lord feels about you, the Lord looks at your heart, your intentions, your deeds, what you do. So don't worry about what people think about you if they're trying to expose you because we're in the days of exposing. I didn't had a few people try to expose me, you know. I didn't did a few things in my life to where I tried to judge someone, but God was the judge. God is the judge all the time. So I really wouldn't worry about if someone was trying to slander me or not because we're all not perfect. So when we do things, we all have to look up to one person and that is God we all have to answer back to one person and that is God so whatever opinion someone has on you they're not God so don't worry too much about what people say about you but one thing that the Lord wants you to do is always have hope don't let nobody make you stop having hope and having faith just because of how they view you or just because of what you've done or just because of how they think of you what you did to them we all have done things and what do we do when we do the wrong thing we repent to the lord we go to god anyway and we ask god for forgiveness we repent and we tell god that we have remorse for our sins we repent and we make sure that god is cleansing us and god is protecting us and taking care of us because we're going to god don't look up to man don't try to please man don't look for validation in man. Look for validation in God and in the Lord. Whatever people do, that's their business because God is going to deal with them anyway. And when I say deal with them, I don't mean ridicule them. I mean that everybody has their own like purpose and their own calling. So like, you know, we're not the judge of them. We have to worry about what God wants us to do and whatever we do, you know, obviously that's what God wants us to do. And if we're doing what God is not wanting us to do, then God will change it. As long as you pray to God, God will change it. God will change your life. So the moral of this prophetic word is don't lose hope. Don't lose hope in someone else's opinion or don't lose hope just because somebody thinks that you're supposed to be a certain way. You are exactly who God wants you to be. You may be going through this so that God can show you something. You may be going through what you're going through so that God can, you know, guide you in the right direction to show you what you don't want. You know, like a lot of these things happen to us for a reason, whether we did it or whether God did it. But it's going to get solved. Any problem is going to get solved. So don't lose hope and have someone question you and have someone make you feel like, you know, you're not good enough or no, you are worthy. You are worthy. And God wants you to know that you're worthy no matter what you did. Look at Paul. Paul. Paul could have said, you know what? People know what I've done. You know, people know that I was a Christian killer. People know that I was this, I was that. But he, he stood in his humility. He stood in his humility. And he continued to have hope no matter what people said because he knew he was trying to please God and that's it. He was trying to please God. He knew his intentions was good. He knew that it was. So as long as you know that your intentions are good, don't worry about what people say about you. Don't worry about if they slander you. Don't worry about if they call you the worst names in the book. Don't worry. Because God got you. Keep that hope alive. Okay? I love you guys. Bye-bye.